Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the uh, description of this video for a full playlist. We've been looking at commands and how to find them, the location of the executables and whether they're built in, functions, aliases, and all that sort of stuff. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, different shells may act different, especially when it comes to built in commands. So here I am. I'm on my Android uh, phone. Here's the Nexus 5X. Uh, and currently, I'm right now we're in a program called ConnectBot, and ConnectBot uh, allows you to connect locally to yourself. So right now, I'm at the shell using whatever the default shell on this particular phone is, and it may vary from phone to phone. Some use BusyBox, some use ToyBox, some use a standalone shell. Let's go ahead and uh, in here in ConnectBox, issue the command command on itself and see what it says. So we'll just type command command. And it says that it is a built-in shell or built-in command, which is what we expect. But if I was to run the type uh, dash a type, it's 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 New Year's Day and people are still setting off fireworks. So if you hear that outside, I apologize. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and there you can see we get an error here. It's saying uh, the whence or the when ce dash doesn't doesn't know the dash a option. Uh, and you're like, well, I didn't run the type. Well, you'll see why that is in a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just try removing that dash A option from our command and running type, just type. And there you'll see that it says, let's try to focus this a little better for that line. And it says type is an alias for the built-in function whence dash V. So, technically, the shell that we're using here doesn't have a type command. It has the whence command. And the, when, the type command is linked to that built-in alias. It's an alias for the built-in command whence-v. Uh, so that's how that shell works. And we can even look at what shell I'm running here. Let's, again, clear the screen real quick. And I will... Now, echo dollar sign zero, which shows me where what shell I'm running. And uh, so it tells me that I'm running system slash bin slash sh. Again, the default shell on this particular phone. And actually, most phones will link to that, but you may have a different shell running. Let's go ahead and open up a different program. I'm going to open up a program uh, called Termux. And if you don't use Termux, you should. It is a great shell. Uh, interface on your phone. So here we go. We're at that and this program by default doesn't keep my screen on. Uh, can I make my font bigger? I'm sure I can. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, so that's the welcome screen for Tmux. Let's go ahead and issue our commands again. So this time we'll try the command V option. So command V, capital V command. And here, as we expect, it says that it's a built-in shell command. And if we were to run our type dash A, we'll hit enter there, and it says that it's type in. So this type is working as we expected. Uh, but you know what? We don't even need to put that dash A in there. I don't know if I said that in previous videos. Even though uh, that's the what we're told to do uh, in the uh, help file, I think it is. Uh, you can just type type type, and usually it will tell you what you want to know as well. So in this case. Uh, type is a built-in shell. Sorry that it gets blurry. Uh, I'm at kind of an angle here. It's hard for me to get straight on view and as it gets closer to the camera it gets out of focus. So it's the best I can do for right now. Um, I usually hate filming screens but sometimes you got to. So let's clear this screen. And again, so this is in the Termux shell which is not using the default system shell. It's using its own shell here. And In this particular case if I echo zero you can see here, well hopefully you can see, that instead of doing system bin sh, it's using data data com dat uh, com termux files, then the usr bin bash. So it's basically inside this program there's this own little file operating system, uh, file system for this program, and it's actually running a bash shell uh, compiled for the phone. So Again, all depends on what you're having, but know the differences and know how to look it up. So the command command seems to work so far in every shell I've tried. Type 
sometimes does, sometimes does, and sometimes it's linked to other uh, commands. Um, but with one of those, you should be able to figure out what you got going on. And this is just one more view of that. So I just wanted to share that again. Sorry about uh, any blurriness in this video. Uh, it's the best I could do uh, with what I've got right now. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. If you don't know what I'm talking about in this video, be sure to check out the previous videos in this series. There should be a link in the description of the video or coming up here at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.